What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're going to be reviewing the new Master Lee's Super Saiyan Goku from the latest Ichiban Kuji, Crash, Battle for the Universe. Before we dive into the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell, like the video, comment your thoughts down below for us to discuss, follow me on my socials, and consider becoming a YouTube member to enter into our monthly giveaways and Discord server so our community can help you on your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. This figure is based on Super Saiyan Goku from the Majin Buu Saga of Dragon Ball Z. This figure is an Ichiban Kuji release, so if you'd like to learn more about Ichiban Kuji, check the video in my description below once this review is done. If you're also interested in purchasing this figure, you can check the other video in my description below once the review is over. This figure is based on Goku from Dragon Ball Z Chapter 322 when he defeats Majin Buu with the Super Spirit Bomb. This figure and Ichiban Kuji set were released on September 23rd, 2023. Goku stands at 9.75 inches inches, weighs 1 pound 9.5 ounces in box, weighs 1 pound 1.2 ounces outside of the box, and the figure comes whole with his support. <laughs> It's Goat Koo. Goat Koo. Yeah, dude. Um, you know, I wasn't really thinking that hard about this figure because we had such unique picks for the set. You got Debora and Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and Great Saiyan Man. And, you know, you, you have your obligatory Goku figure, but he's the main character. So it's 99, 9 out of 10 times he's going to be included in the Ichiban Kuji set. So. Get over it if you're mad about it. You don't have to buy him. <laughs> you don't. He doesn't waste a slot or anything. He's just he's just there. Uh, but I'm really happy to see this Goku. It's super iconic. And it's a really unique look for Goku. You know, a lot of people were complaining like, oh, the figure's just standing there. Figure's just standing there. Now we're starting to get figures in really cool poses. And this is super iconic. Who doesn't know about the later, you know, when he does the super spirit bomb? So I might be biased here. But because this is Goku from the Buu Saga in battle damage doing a unique pose, just taking all of that into consideration, I'm going to give the character choice a 5 out of 5. I don't care what you think. If you want to call me biased, I don't care. I think it's cool. I think it's a great concept. And I'm happy he's in the set. Uh, likeness. This is probably one of the best likenesses I have seen on a Goku figure. His face is incredible. They did a wonderful job on his smile. They gave him those anime lines. They painted his eyes just perfect. And you can see some scuff marks on his face too because they were battling Boo. This is right at the end of the, uh, of the battle. 
So they did a really, really freaking great job on his face. He's probably got the best likeness out of anybody in this set. Just hands down, he, he crushes it there. Sculpt quality is also really good. I, I tried to look at it really hard and think about other Goku figures, but I think this entire sculpt, including his hair, is all brand new. I don't think we've ever seen this sculpt used before, especially because his feet, his feet are pointing down because he's floating in the air. So I don't think we've ever seen this Goku sculpt before. If I'm wrong, please let me know. But regardless, it's awesome. His muscles are super detailed. Like I mentioned earlier, you can see all the scuff marks on his clothes, on his skin, and his hair is so good. This is easily the best Super Saiyan Goku hair sculpt I've ever seen. And man, the detail is incredible. I even like how they put these little uh, supports on the bottom of his feet to help him stand up really well. He balances really, really well to make it look like he's flying. So they did a wonderful job on that too. So five out of five for the sculpt quality. Paint and shading, also pretty freaking incredible. Lots of good blends of oranges and yellows on his pants, uh, good blends of different blues for his shirt. You can see his skin's been shaded really well and they nailed the Super Saiyan hair. Like it's light yellow at the tips and then when you go further in, it gets a little darker. So. It, it, they, they just did really good. I'm, I'm blown away with this Goku figure. I didn't walk into this set really thinking that I was going to be that impressed with Goku, but now that I have him in person, I'm just like, whoa, like this thing's freaking incredible. Um, and size and scale, he's a little taller than your average Goku figure, but that's because he's on his tippy toes. He's, he's flying, he's floating in the air. So he's not like egregiously taller than other Goku figures, but he is noticeably a little taller than them, but, but he scales with them. They scale well, he's just floating. Just keep that in mind. He's not gonna be like, he's gonna be a little bit taller than your regular Master Lee's Goku figure. But with that in mind, all of that is definitely a five out of five for the size and scale. I don't know what to say, guys. I, I really love this Goku figure. This might actually be my new favorite Goku figure. It's really incredible. His face is really good. The pose is iconic. The sculpt is really well done. I, I just love everything about this figure and it's definitely one of my new favorites in my collection. So I'm gonna give this one an easy five out of five. Guys, thanks again for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please remember to like the video, comment your thoughts down below. And of course, share this with a friend, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget that we're doing a monthly giveaway. These are our prizes that we're doing this month for the giveaway. So make sure you become a YouTube member today, hop into the Discord server and take part in our giveaway on this date. But until the next video, guys, I will see you all later.